It looks like this guy made some workout actually. Last time we've seen him was on a total different shape. As you may know on my Twitter, if not links in the description. Okay, here is my mostly recently acquired figure. I've received too many opinions of him and convinced me to go get him. And uh, well, here it is now. As you may know, Legacy Slime reunites characters from different universes and changes their look to a more G1 esque design. Up to now, we have the G1 universe, G2 universe, Unicron Trilogy, Beast Wars, Prime Universe. Diaclone repaints and the Marvel comic characters. Even though Volkhead originally is not from the Prime universe, it is good that they have given him another chance to shine and actually made a new mold for him with his Prime design. They gave him a militaristic looking track mode and he is mostly related to large vehicles with armor and it keeps his physically fat appearance from the Prime universe. Yep, he's still a chonker boy. So the figure itself has a proper sculpt and has very good paint apps. There are different shades of green implied to all the figure and gives him a very unique color scheme. The blue transparent plastic they use for him is actually incredible, it matches perfectly, I have no other words to say other than that. There is almost no back cable, except for the back of his head, those parts aren't exactly wheels, it's for transformation purposes, but we'll get to that later. The mold itself is pretty solid, since it's basically a new mold, it always gives me that first impression that the newer figures are more solid than the others. Bulkhead comes with three accessories, an energon infused minigun, a tar for the back of his vehicle mode that he uses as a shield and his characteristic wrecking ball. The accessories here are perfect for some poses I could come up with. The engineering is good, the head moves, hands and arms as well, has a waist swivel, legs rotate and bend and the feet cut fields. My only concern about the figure's engineering is that the leg itself can't rotate too far. It's a bit of annoying but you'll get used to it. As you know, this figure has holes made for you to attach weapons, shields and other weaponizers. Since I feel Legacy will get a bunch of those, it wouldn't be surprising if I get one when it comes out. Size comparison here with some of the old reviews, here is Kingdom Optimus Prime, Studio Series Soundwave and Crossover's Iron Man. Now, Bulkhead and Prime may share the same height, but Soundwave and Iron Man are slightly bigger than him, even though Iron Man is a deluxe class. The transformation has many steps and is a little bit complex the first time, but you get it eventually. I recommend you watch out some of the wheels of his back when transforming him. One of them popped off when I wanted to transform him back into the robot mode, and also one of the wheels on his shoulders also popped off, so I recommend to be careful with that. Or than that, you can transform him really well. So here it is, Bulkhead in his militaristic track mode. And looking at it again, makes me think buying him over Blaster was totally worth it. His track mode is so clean at first sight, I really love this design. I still have the thought on why have they decided to choose a truck instead of a big car. Since Bulkhead from Transformers Prime transformed into what it looks like an armor altering car. Besides from that, a truck mode for his G1 color part makes him look aesthetically accurate to the line main theme. The truck itself rolls very well, it doesn't have much issue with that since it looks like all the wheels perfectly roll. Now for weapon storage, the truck's tarp here comes with these tabs on his sides where you can put his wrecking ball and up here there is a hole where you can put his energized minigun. The tarp can be removed to show more weapon storage, but the problem here is that only one weapon can be stored here. It's just all the space for one of them unless they are tiny enough to fit in there. Size comparison again, here we have Iron Man, Prime and Soundwave. Iron Man here is bigger because of the nose of the jet, Soundwave is slightly smaller than Bulkhead and Prime has almost the exact same size of him. Overall, I really like this guy, I thought his design was simplistic, but then checking on him again and in person, I could say I was wrong when I judged this guy first. My recommendation? If you're lucky to have this guy and the other Transformers Prime characters that will probably come out in the Legacy line, then this figure is a must. And if you aren't doing that and you only want a good Voyager class figure, I really recommend this guy, it's totally worth it. Before I end the review, I would like to say that next week I will probably start working on the Transmutate review and after that I will have to make my brain work out since I don't know who to review after doing the Transmutate video. I am actually running out of ideas so for the ones interested I will leave a poll on Twitter so that you can vote which figure I should review next. Thanks y'all for watching, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, I'm Bot Review, and we'll see you again soon.